Coming up, how the city of Brookings is following up on its COVID-19 response. Plus, how a recent uptick in sales has at least one business owner hiring more employees. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Rapid City Police are searching for the people responsible for a Tuesday afternoon shooting near two schools. The incident involved juveniles and led to Knollwood Elementary and North Middle School being placed on secure status. Police say no one was hurt. The victims and suspects knew each other and the shooting does not appear to be a random act. Part of the investigation did lead police to a nearby home where a person was reportedly barricaded. That person and several other people were eventually removed from the home and one was arrested, but they were not connected to the shooting. Sioux Falls police are trying to find the person who robbed a grocery store Monday night on the east side of the city. Authorities say it happened around 7.30 near the intersection of 18th Street and Cleveland Avenue. Investigators say a man walked in and showed the employee a knife. The man took cash out of the register and ran away. He is described as a white man about 5 foot 2 wearing dark clothes and a mask. Police are reviewing surveillance video as they investigate the robbery. Turning to weather now, we are seeing our first round of winter weather of 2021 this morning. Let's find out how much snow we could see with meteorologist Scott Munt. Well, good morning to you. Good morning, Kelloland. We continue to watch the snow across eastern and southeastern Kelloland. Snowfall amounts will average one to maybe three inches. And for some of us, our snow chances will last right through the afternoon. So we will continue to monitor things on Kelloland Live Doppler HD. And you can do the same thing while you're here online. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies and a forecast for the next several days. I would like to say periods of sunshine will be possible with that. And numbers will remain above average. Many of these days will be slightly above their average high temperatures. More details on the Kelo Lane Live Doppler forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. Thanks, Scott. A city in Kelo Land wants to know more about its residents' COVID-19 experiences. Brookings is surveying households to find out if people are getting connected to the resources they need. Many surveys have already been returned, but residents have until the 15th to weigh in. We really are in this together, and the survey is meant to do that, right? It's meant to give you the chance to tell us uh, from your experience how we can help you. Because we know we're in this together, and we're going to get to the other side. We just need to work together to get there. The surveys were sent in the mail, but they can also be filled out online. The COVID-19 pandemic has made for a less than normal school year for students. In many cases, teachers have had to get creative in teaching while also keeping their classrooms safe for everyone. Now that the first half of the school year is over, Sioux Falls School District Superintendent Jane Stavum says they will work to remain diligent with all the protocols they've had in place. We're still, you know, very much in the process of um, doing the same things that got us through that first semester. So I think it's a good mixture of optimism and hope as well as just continued caution and um, doing things with, you know, still a great deal of care. Some of those practices include sp spacing and plexiglass shields in classrooms. She also says school nurses have had the option to get the COVID-19 vaccine. After a slow start to the holiday season, a pair of local restaurants have seen a recent increase in business. The Barrel House and Craven each lost employees in late November and early December due to declining sales, but have since bounced back and are now hiring additional staff. Craven General Manager Jennifer Cleveland said it was a tough time, but it could have been worse. We didn't see a significant dip over here as they did in some of the other restaurants. Um, our regulars are incredibly loyal and they take amazing care of us. Um, but I really think everybody's just kind of ready for life to get back to normal. The Barrel House is looking to hire more kitchen staff and a variety of other positions due to an increase in carryout orders. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather forecast with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, weather today, well, a narrow corridor under a winter weather advisory. So basically this is for where snow amounts come in at least one to three or somewhere in that range. It's kind of sloppy today. Temperatures really aren't budging a whole lot. So it gives us a few things to watch uh, throughout the day. Obviously, this area of snow and mixed precip has been holding stationary, too. This is reflected on our snow prediction map. We're basically going well under an inch, though, in Mitchell and Huron. So this is not a widespread snow today. It's basically just a very targeted forecast 
and uh, the grouping of counties is highlighted. Here is the timeline now, a future cast update revealing those 30s there, and you'll see as we advance the time to midday. Notice that Sioux Falls hardly changes much. Still a little snow in the air. Temperature still hovering in the lower to middle 30s. Uh, Rapid City, though, you're going to have sunshine and 40-degree uh, weather pretty likely this afternoon. Outlook tonight, we're generally going to see that area of snow dissipating in the southeast uh, by 10 o'clock. And we're expecting the overnight readings kind of holding steady, mainly upper 20s, low 30s to kick off the morning. And that's where we'll be tomorrow as we see probably some fog issues at times as well, especially in the, over the areas that do get a little snow today. There are the afternoon highs, 35 in Chamberlain, 46 here in Rapid City. Lows tonight generally down there in the uh, mid upper 20s in Sioux Falls. But I kind of think tomorrow we kind of flatline there, about 33 clouds, maybe slightly cooler for the weekend. But no drastic changes in temperature here for the next few days. Aberdeen in the Northeast also kind of battling some of these clouds through the extended forecast, but highs nearing 30 on Saturday, pretty respectable for January. And for Pierre in central South Dakota, a little better chance we could see some light snow activity Friday into Saturday. Highs mid-30s, mid and then next week we may actually start to see a rebound in western Kettle Land. Highs in the 40s. Check out more details here online at KettleLand.com.